scooped up because I mean it was left available. So not not only do they have the TF for global yeah, seeing Mordekaiser is um, and Orin, so hold that thought indeed. Gonna grab the last part of his chicken there, but uh, he's still last hitting the chickens. He's like, okay, I'm probably dead. Um, <laughs> the flash comes in, and yes, the Lilia is incredibly fast, but he's. See how the jungle matchup goes. I mean, starting off, <laughs> obviously pretty good. There's that stun coming in and actually gets pulled into the duo here by the Rel, and Henna is all but dead. There you go. Felt like first Some blood. The experience difference here. Quincy actually has moved ahead of Dread even after uh, going down early. Okay, this is not where he's going to want a death row. Okay, well, yeah, he's going to be forced into it, looking for the kill, but he's under the turret now, and Moomti's right here the second he does hop out of the death realm. As in comes Hoya, and that's going to be a... You, know, you should know Moomti's clear time is so fast, there's a decent chance he's up here. And they had a ward in the river, but he was on the top side, so... Uh... <laughs> what is up with the solo kills in this game? I don't, I don't get what it. What is going on? I freaking get the one solo kill of the mid lane and also the Infernal Drake. Uh, you know, in one second, yes, Keen gets too close to the fire and he ha he's forced to, you know, to fight against the Camille because he was just going to be hounded down otherwise. But getting himself into that position, yes, was... It's very unfortunate that here is another big taunt coming in from Delight. Gets the two of them. They really want to get the kill onto Bang. Here's going to be the sleep. Trying to set up the damage. That will be pretty easy. Now they're looking for the hens. And that will also be alley ooped over to This the is like where she gets to, to start the snowball rolling if she is going to. Meanwhile, Keen. Yeah, here, here it goes. This is the power of Camille in the long lane. Into the death realm they do go. Not able to dodge the Q, actually, from the Mordekaiser. Let's see if... Lava can help out. The flash underneath the turret will be enough. He destroyed. Yeah, this is the trade-off, right? With This is why Mordekaiser is so strong into this Twisted Fate uh, Camille comp, because that's your whole game plan is to go kill the Mordekaiser. And Keen was pretty far forward. He's got his sleep, so he really wants this. You know, I don't know Ooh. if he's got the damage, though. That's yeah. uh, Umti again, just reaching for something. And another Drake goes the way of Afrika. They're getting so many more. Very deep in the enemy jungle here is Afrika. Dread in a little bit of trouble. He's going to try to be burst down. In goes the Camille. Do they have the damage, though? The knockup comes in from Fly, and still Dread is alive in this fight as Lava and Delight have to flash away. Just trying to take a fight around the spot turret. Hmm. <laughs> Very aggressive here. Uh, not sure about this one, Delight. You are dead. Oh! <laughs> oh. Yeah, you, you can't just walk by the 2-0 with Ludens plus. This goes yeah. on, <laughs> yeah. and to to try to you know give delight a little bit of um, credit as Bang will also need some far mid. At least they're trying to to grab something out of this, and and their one three one is just I mean it's a little bit delayed here. Like look really push in. They're trying to lock down Keen though. We got the teleport coming in. This is some of the power. Actually, even trying to avoid using that Hexec ultimatum here. Finally, going to use it at the end as he's just going to die in the death realm. That's uh. Not what you want to see, and I don't think Lava has enough damage at this point to put anything into Keen. Keen, using that uh, Rift Maker, just brings him into the death realm. Completely safe. Looks like uh, Destiny used here as well. Sweeper the range minions I have to play so far back. And that's going to be a free turret. <laughs> Very impressive setup, so really difficult to cross the bridge. Yeah, he's looking for it, and there it is, the three-man jumps on top of them, Bang is right into that back line with the S rank, and Hoya in the death realm here. Keen says, I'll take care of him, don't worry about that, fellas, as down will go the Lilia as well, as this is total domination to the side of Afrika. Double kill now for the Samira, as a fantastic bait around the Baron, they totally just catch them with the, their pants down there around the Baron, and they take that as well. Very, very uh, easy fight set up there for Lehens, and <laughs> now Lava is like... Ugh. That animation for the recall scared me for a second. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that right now in this game that they should have had a few other win conditions, and I was going to say, when you go down your list of win conditions for uh, Fred Brion right now, it feels like now you're looking at a blank page. There is no list. <laughs> like, yeah, it does not exist. 
And okay, this is gonna be their last hurrah. They're gonna come in here with the teleport. Hoya is alone. Getting into that back line, finally gets the follow-up from the Galio. And they did take down Fly, so there is actually a chance to just fight front to back. And Keen was nowhere to be seen as they finally do get it done. But here comes Dread, just shredding through the front line. Triple kill for this Graves, who is unbelievably fed. You know he's looking for that Penta now. He wants to take down the entire team by himself. But unfortunately, that little horsey is just too fast for him. As, man, Dread 5-0 and 4 now. He is angry after what Umti had to say about him and takes down basically the entire team. Keen, Scott Berenboff, and an open inhibitor turret here with the death timers where they are. He's able to just push this down for free. And you can see Umti is... You can see this moment on the mini map where Umti is just desperate. And here we go again. All right, here we go. This fight not looking as good as the last one, although they did get on top of Bang. He's got a stopwatch this time around. They are eventually going to kill that Samir, and also Umti in the back line gets another kill onto Fly. Somehow, some way, Fly keeps getting caught out here, and the Elder Drake is up. Yeah. Is there even a chance that Fred Brion could potentially win this game? As they've taken a very nice fight in their favor, although Delight is definitely <laughs> Keen is a Keen. Reed boss. Yeah, Keen has something to say about it. Lava's coming back in. Bang! The flank angle, flank angle is good. Actually, looks like it might just go for the steal. Either way. Okay, we're, we're killing Henna here. Looks like maybe that was Kyo's test. I don't know, he didn't use his ultimate just yet. Trying to get on top of Hoya. And once again, this time around, the jungle is going to go down. Umti, though, as well. This time, Fly and Bang have a front line. And in he goes with the S rank. Bang going to shred through two members. As Lava over the wall here on Fortunate Red Card means that he is dead. And that is going to be the end of this game, finally. <laughs> yep, that's going to be all she wrote for this one, unfortunately. Very much a honorable attempt from Fred Brion on those Drake fights there for the Elder Drake, but not going to be able to stop Afrika Freaks in the end. Everybody is just too fed. Mordekaiser ending the game with a 4-1-5 scoreline. Again, the perfect counterpick to the Camille, and there was just too many resources committed to him early. We saw... Singed play. It is going to be the cannon that gets chosen here for Keen in the top side alongside Nar. With a Kaisa, you know, it's not the Jin who's shooting people under turret, but it's still shoved in enough to where there's just great jungle priority. And again. Yeah, Bang is a little bit zoned out, and actually Henna's gonna like to fight this. So this is actually gonna pull the priority away from Red. But look at this, it's delay. Oh, coming on in, but a three-man charm comes out and a big uh, blast plant is going to get fly over the wall here in a bit of a precarious situation. But look at the two members of Bro up here. They're just getting hunted down by the Kaisa as the cleanse comes in. No execute onto Bank it's from... not been able to do anything comparatively. Oh, Delight is way out of his league trying to grab that ward. He gets okay. the grab at least on the bang, but I don't know if bang really cares. Here's Umti. Here, yeah, here comes the Pantheon in, and okay, just gonna <laughs> snipe him down this Lahens. can hear but as well. We'll find out what that soul is gonna be here in just a moment. Uh, if it's Mountain, it ends up being pretty nice for Dre. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, we saw Ke uh, so free third Drake at least. We'll see if they even consider going. Again, all those situations, they don't get anything. Keen wants to engage here. Yeah, he's going to get exhausted. The exhaust taken by Delight in this game for exactly this reason. Delight, though, getting incredibly low. Keen going to get burst from so far away, though, as the Olaf is going to have to come in here and try to help out. He's going to Gore Drinker, desperately trying to get that damage onto Henna, but... I just feel like that's kind of the goal right now is to dive that. Yep, there it is. Just waiting in the brush. Easy charm into easy death of the enemies. <laughs> hey, he's going to make up for it with his control ward, right? <laughs> There we there go. He, not bad. Puts down his I own zombie ward. Vigil is also going to sail wide. The big one hits a lot of them. Here comes the Pantheon in with the Meganor. But Keen immediately into the backline, able to get huge backline access, but doesn't have much help from his damage dealers as they all get zoned away. In comes Bang, though, able to take away that front line. Gonna get sniped down by Henna. They just, they just can't clear it quickly enough. Yeah. And so that is going to go the way of Afrika at the end of the day. So Cloud wow. Soul, this is one way to force a fight, right? You you turn off of the Baron. But they know where Keen is, and a lot of damage already coming out here from the Aphelios. Dread in the front line, 
Nearly taken out, and Keen found out has to Zonia's early. Has his flash gonna go into the back line, but no more Zonia's. Here comes Bang. They take out Delight, but that is not a trade that a freak are going to like. Hoya doing a ton of damage in the front line. Here comes Lava going man mode into the back line. Not sure about that one. He's gonna get burst down, and down goes their sustained range damage just like that. And there's the root onto Umti, now trying to get that kill, and he will. But at the end of the day, this will be a nice fight for Afrika, as they'll look to pick up the ace by taking down Hoya right here. And there's no way for him to get out. A triple kill. Three Elder the... Drake here for Afrika with the respawns coming through. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. That was He's simply just waiting at the moment. Might try to flank on the left side as they engage in, but it's just simply not going to be taken. Low and safe, they're playing it on the other side of things, because they need to buy time for that Baron buff to expire, so maybe... Maybe they can win that next fight with the extra poke. I mean, this is siege damage they have defensively with Lava. That is going to start to stack up here. So hard for a Freak of Freaks to end this game right now. They're giving them a lot of space. You know, they, they don't want to get engaged upon here to Fred and Brian, so they say, well, we got to kind of hand you the angle. There certainly are ways for Fred and Brian to come back in a very late stage. Yeah, like counting their lucky stars, they still have a chance to come back in this game. Uh, and for Afrika Freaks, all you all you have here is objectives you can take in terms of turrets and those inhibitors, but engaging in the base is just another problem entirely. Like, it's just so difficult for them to do it, that's why they have to play so careful and safe here, because one misstep and Fred Brion brings us to a game three. Well, they're gonna pretty confidently move into the top side here and take down this turret at least. Fred Brion still giving a lot of room, and... Kind of reminds me of the other game we had where it's like either you fight at the Baron or you try to fight at your Nexus turrets. And I think that's the kind of what they've chosen here. They want to fight at the Nexus turrets, hold on to their base, play for a supreme late game. But a lot of poke already coming out here. The Meganar running out of time. And they're still almost about to take down this inhibitor. Looks like just a couple more autos. I think you have to fight on Nexus turrets here if you're Fred Brion. I mean, that's your that's your best hope. You cannot defend your inhibitor. They are going to clear this insanely easy. I mean, we're 35 minutes into the game, and the items are out of control. Umti, I don't know about this one. Yeah, Umti forces this fight here. He is kind of all alone, finally able to take that lantern as he nearly still goes down, kind of burning there at the end. Trying to find an opportunistic moment to catch someone out. But huge shields now coming out here, able to get on top of Hoya. There goes the Pantheon into the back line, but also is the Kennen. And into the back line he goes, but Lava gets a huge amount of damage, shreds through that back line, and Bro may have just held on. Lahens just barely able to take that kill down. But now it's only Dread who's going to have to try to run away from this one. But no there way. is no escape, and that is an ace here for to try to fight the Elder Drake rather than go for the base. No steel available, but Uzi's probably dead, so at least they get the Pantheon here. And, well, actually trying to get him to Bang. That was a little bit scary with the Elder. You could have potentially executed him, but this is desperation. They're going to lose one Nexus turret just like that, and I feel like they actually had an opportunity to just no contest here, of course. They get it down really, really fast, and you can see even Lehens is already pushing mid. They're just going to try to win the game off of Baron Super Minions. And this is going to be a... Uh, it's going to be a bunch of... Melios. And uh, he can shred some minion waves pretty fast as well. Especially with, with the right weapons. But they're going to wait. Here we go. Fight on this Nexus turret, it looks like. Yeah, I mean, that. I think that's their best fight. Just again. Umti's going to try to ult from oh. behind. Okay, they're going to push out of the base here. Oh, it didn't work this time. Ults in. The Meganar gets zero value. Hopping forward, no ultimate used. And Afrika's disengage there is perfect. So good. So well done. Now they can get the second inhibitor. The top inhibitor is being pushed down by a million, million hey. minions. <laughs> Baron buff for 30 seconds. Take a look at this Abelio's damage, though. It's insanity. That was like three autos. <laughs> Take a look at all of their health. It's so rough, and that's not even factoring the Corky. Uh-oh, Keen. Oh, he's doing a lot of damage himself, but he's still got to get out of there. That's I don't know out. about this one. Oh, Lava gets caught out on the top side. Bang, able to execute, and this is what you wanted. They finally get that charm with Lehens as well, and that should be the end of the game here. Henna not able to flash away and get anything done, and Hoya 
it will be the same for him. And in 40 minutes, you know, it looked kind of close. It looked like that super late game we were talking about could potentially come through, but not this time around. Afrika will pick up the 2-0. What a beautiful game of League.